my friends i'm out in the beautiful norwegian nature and it's really autumn now uh, i even found the first piece of ice so it's cold at night that's for sure and i'm doing my final test with the hero 12 and the osmo action 4. i decided to keep the osmo action 4 just because it's so good but i haven't decided yet what to do with the hero 12. So the comparison today, it's actually my final, final video uh, deciding if I'm going to keep it or not. So um, the footage today has to be good. It has to be good. Overall, the Hero 12 is, is a good camera. People was really disappointed about the upgrade. It wasn't big enough. And compared to the Osmo Action 4, it's not that much of an update or upgrade from the Hero 11. Um, the Osmo Action 4 is overall a better camera. And I've been testing the, Osmo, uh, the GoPro Hero 12 mostly in normal color profile. And I never liked the normal color profile on GoPro camera, but the Hero 12 has the best natural normal color profile of all um, GoPro cameras. But the log profile, which I'm testing today, I've seen a bunch of videos, people are complaining a lot about that profile. And I'm not good in grading at all, but the Osmo Action 4 has excellent uh, log profile. And it's quite easy to grade. You can just see that there's a lot of information in the flat profile on uh, on the Osmo Action 4. For some strange reason, and that's typical GoPro, the flat profile more or less look normal. It's uh, a little washed out, a little flatter than the normal. Uh, it's quite easy to grade, but still it's kind of difficult to get, uh, get good and natural normal uh, quality out of the footage. So that's why I'm testing that today. And that's going to be my decision to keep it or not. Because I have the Osmo Action 4 and I'm going to keep that. It's really, really good. switch to wide on both cameras and you can clearly see that the Osmo Action 4 is wider than GoPro and that's what I really like about it and it's not even distorted at all uh, some people think it's too wide but I think the wide field of view is the right field of view uh, linear and D-Warp also works good but um, I like this so what is it with GoPro and <laughs> why can't they make a perfect camera i don't think there's ever been any perfect camera out there at all but i think that dji has come a really long way and that's my biggest issue with gopro um, that is they made cameras or action cameras for a really really long time and for me it hasn't seemed that they developed that much or 
innovated that much that so that's a little bit disappointing in in one strange way uh, some people would say I'm totally wrong and that GoPro leads the way and uh, for some people that's maybe th true but for me um, overall I think that DJI has made a better camera with the Osmo Action 4 and there's many reasons for that um, first of all the most important thing when you're out recording and especially in different uh, weather and uh, that's the point with an action camera it should tolerate tough uh, weather and, and uh, be durable uh, GoPro is durable but the biggest issue with GoPro is you can't rely on the camera with the Hero 12 they made some improvement the menu system is a little bit better than especially the Hero 10 but it's still too slow and has some strange lags and I can't understand that with DJI Osmo Action 4 the menu system is just perfect and also with the Hero 12 something that really annoys me that uh, some people maybe don't care about is actually you can't use the front touch screen or the front screen on the Osmo Action 4 you actually can and that's something I really enjoy uh, and it's quite easy the menu system on the Osmo Action 4 is actually more or less perfect and when it comes to mounting GoPro was the company that really innovated or developed this niche with action cameras and uh, GoPro mount has been known for many many years but then DJI come on the market with the magnetic system and that's actually a perfect system it's so easy to uh, change uh, with the Osmo Action or DJI cameras just from one, one mount to another with GoPro you have to use the fingers and stuff like that yes you have a, a tripod screw on the bottom of the Hero 12 so that's better but I can't understand why they haven't done anything about that they should make a magnetic system for the GoPro Hero 12 and battery life DJI wins image quality from my in my opinion DJI wins in really perfect conditions uh, maybe the Hero 12 has a little slight edge that's it nothing more but I thought it was somebody walking behind me and uh, was the, <laughs> the tripod here um, yeah so overall it's not an easy choice uh, I haven't made my final decision but I'm 90% sure I'm gonna send back the Hero 12 and uh, wait for another GoPro ca camera in the future it's a great camera it's a good camera uh, but for me DJI is better that's my opinion so uh, if you enjoyed this short video uh, give me a thumb up and of course subscribe to my channel and if you want to see more videos from me comment down below what you want to see in a couple of days DJI Pocket 2 is arriving uh, not in my mailbox or <laughs> uh, but uh, I'm not quite sure if I'm gonna get it or not we have to see but uh, yeah I'll see you on the next one bye